Hello, it is Mady Max, and today we are back with another episode of Pixelmon Harmony. And as you can see, we've got a very interesting start to this video. Alright, so yeah, we are back with another episode of Pixelmon Harmony on the Pixelmon Harmony server. Right now we're on the border between my town and Matt's town. Apparently he's got a new town member who built an actual decent looking house. That's not too bad, I like it. Uh, whoever's house that is, good job, you're a decent builder. Better than me at least. But um, anyways, yeah, we found a wild mega salamence. For a second I thought it wasn't mega and then I realized, oh wait, it is a mega. Because that's how Megas work. But he's level 74. And all I'm hoping is that I can get... Aerolay. I was wondering why that was super... Okay. So, we can't get him asleep. But we can perhaps burn him because we need to kill him. We can't catch these dudes. Why? That's not fair. Oh boy. Um, do we have any... Ninetales probably has Will-O-Wisp. That's not fair. Will-O-Wisp can't miss. I flinched. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's that's called hacking. Um, alright. So, we're gonna run. Home. Alright, we need to heal, like, lightning speed because that thing's going to despawn. Of course, we're, like, out of food, too. Like, this is the perfect time. I kind of wish I bought a rank for, like, Poke heal and stuff, but... Alright, come on. Oh, our volume's really low. Uh, let me just fix that. Alright. I think there was a person in Matt's town online, so I swear if he takes the Mega... Okay. Now. Let's try this again. Oh, are we gonna get into... I don't think we're allowed to battle it. Also, I like how there's just a barboach on the land. Ah, the hitbox is so bad. Wait, hold on. FN plus F3. Q. What are the commands? Ah, whatever. Um. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay. We can't see, though. So that's unfortunate. Alright, you're gonna do that again. Okay. Let's get a Will-O-Wisp off this time. Alright. Now, you're gonna die, so I'm gonna just go for a Shadow Sneak. Okay. Now let's try and get a Confuse Ray. Oh, that didn't do much damage. Oh, because of the burn. Alright, um... Hex? Okay, Hex did good. Uh, Hex again. Oh, he's gonna hurt himself in confusion. Yes, we killed it. Are we gonna get the Megas down? Oh, we're gonna get some levels. <gasps> Yes, we got the Salamensite. And a berry, and gold, and rare candy, and a Sooth Bell. Ooh, yes, Keystone! I would love to equip a Keystone. And it doesn't show because you need to relog for it to show. Alright, now I need to go Bagon hunting. I was gonna do building this episode, but change of plans, we're actually gonna do Bagon hunting. Alright, so here we are at the Mesa. I forgot to heal my Pokémon. Um, I'm pretty sure Bagon spawns at nighttime, and it is nighttime, and that's good because we can use Dusk Balls. But I don't think it spawns in, like, this area, because I go in the spawning platform a lot for whatever reason, and I never have seen one. So, I feel like it's in, like, one of the different variations of Mesa Biome. Either that, or the, um, Y level is too high, or something like that. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and fly around and see, because usually I'm trying to think of areas where I've found Bagons before, and it's not like the red sand area. It's like high elevation, but they don't spawn on that spawning platform, or maybe I'm just really unlucky. We could just use the grass over here and just like hope for extreme RNG, like... How long does it take to get an encounter? Ah, oh, this is taking too long. Oh yeah! The the Mega Ring thing shows. 
Yeah. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, I just lost my Heraquinite. Or whatever Megastone was there. Oh, no, I just threw it on the, threw it on the ground. Okay, Galadite. Um, are we going to get an encounter? Or are we going to actually have to find a Bagon? Come on. I can't break anything here. I don't know why I tried to break stuff. Um, yeah, see, nothing spawns, and I don't think a Bagon would spawn. Is anyone selling a Bagon? Uh, if they are, it's probably expensive. A thousand dollars, and that's actually really good. That's actually really good, except for the IVs. And it's a thousand dollars. You know, I'm just gonna... I'll grab it. I do want to try and find my own. I have purchased the item slash... Okay. This, this grass is useless. I want to see if I can find a wild one, because it won't have my original trainer thing. Or maybe it will, because sometimes when you trade Pokemon, it's like weird, and it says it's use the original trainer when it's really not. Because as long as it says I'm the original trainer, I'm okay with using it. Even though I didn't catch it. Also, I think you can use a glitch with these things to get, like, infinite encounters. Um. Oh, yeah, they had, like, random Pokemon giveaway stuff. So, that on the Wednesday giveaway, you could get, like, two random Pokemon. So these were my two random Pokemon from that. And then I did a Wonder Trade randomly, and I got an Onyx. Alright, so it's an egg, so we're gonna try and hatch that. I forget. Like, what you'd do is you'd get an encounter, and then you'd be on the slab, and then every time you'd run away, you'd get a different encounter. Or whenever you killed the thing. The only problem is, I'm not getting an encounter. So, you know. It's like... Not cool. Okay, you know, I'm done with the Pixelmon grass. Like, actually... Oh, a trainer spawned. Note, not a single Pokemon, though. Like, I'd be fine if it was just, like, Pokemon spawning but not Bagon. But, like... Oh, well. Not, that's not a real Abra. Abra can't spawn here. It's fake news. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get this boy. I, yeah, okay, so if nothing's spawning in the first place... Okay, well, a Larvitar spawned. And lar they're both, like, pseudo-legendary, so they should be the same rarity. Okay, so since I saw the Larvitar, I'm kind of not as, um, dead. Because, like, if I can find a Larvitar, a Bagon might spawn too. But the thing is, I've literally never seen a wild Bagon in Pixelmon Generations. So, like, I don't know. Will it spawn? Ooh, what's this trader? He's a trader, right? What do you want? That's a terrible... That's actually a good trade. What am I talking about? The only problem is I don't have a whooper. If traders didn't despawn, or they, like, despawned after a long time, that would be good, because, like, they're kind of useless, unless you just happen to have the Pokemon that they want on you. But then if you have it on you, you probably don't want to get rid of it, unless you're looking for a trader that specifically wants that Pokemon. But that would take a lot of time, and it would be pretty pointless. Oh, is that a Mega Tyranitar, or is someone... Oh, someone's just getting a Legendary Bird. Are they killing it, or actually trying to catch it? Because if Tyranitar throws out a Stone Edge, I can, like, almost guarantee it's going to kill that Articuno in one hit. Ooh, I'll just spectate the battle. Oh, yeah, they're trying to catch it. Okay, no, you need to go for status. You can't catch a Legendary without status. Like, if you use a Master Ball, you obviously can, but you need, you need status. Don't even try. You're not gonna catch this thing without using sleep powder. <laughs> Sheer cold. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope this guy catches it. That would suck if he, like... That would suck if... That would suck if he, like, saved up that orb, and then he didn't catch it. You're not gonna get it with just dusk balls without sleep powder or status or something. It's like a really small chance if you've got status and a dusk ball. You're gonna need master balls, my friend.
no, no, don't use Ultra Balls. That's not gonna work. No, your Zapta. I feel. No, not a great ball. Did you even come prepared for this? Legendary. Wow, Hypno is my favorite legendary Pokemon. Oh, yeah, there we go. He figured out that sleep is important. Okay, now he's actually got a chance. Okay, never mind. Okay, wow. Status isn't helping much. I would think it would get further, but... Well, at least Hypno's taken hits. I don't even know why I'm watching this battle. I guess I'm kind of, like, waiting for things to spawn. But all that spawned is, like, one Macargo. Okay, seriously? Literally one Macargo has spawned. Also, I kind of started covering this area in sand because I realized without my resource pack, the grass looks ugly and savanna-like. So, yeah. I might have to fix that at some point. I don't know how. Probably gonna use, uh, clay, terracotta, whatever. But, I don't know. Alright, but, um, I'm gonna have to end this episode for tonight. But I'm gonna be back whenever I record next, and I'll finish it off. But anyways, yeah, this is just going to be a weird cut. It's literally going to be zero seconds for you, but it's going to be at least one day for me. So yeah, see you in a second. All right, we are back. I kid you not, eight days later. And today, um, we're going to be working on a few things. Um, first off, I'm a bit sick now. I got a bit of a cold, so that's been annoying. If I sound a bit weird, that's why. But also, we hatched the Bagon right here. So here he is. He's big on, but I also did do a bit of voting, so I was able to purchase a Master Ball, so that's cool. So yeah, now I've got the big on here, and I think what we're going to do is just get a bunch of our rare candies and level them up to 100 right now, because we literally have a lot of rare candy. Do I have to take that off? Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. It's working now. All right. Um, and then if we find a move relearner, oh, bite, um, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's got Dragon Dance. We've got to keep that. I've got a good move set for, um, Mega Salamence. It's, I think it's actually the exact same one that's on Smogon, but whatever. It works. It's got Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Double Edge, and Roost. But if you don't know Mega Salamence, he gets the ability, the ability Air Light, which makes, um, normal type moves flying so he basically gets a 120 i think base power flying stab move so it's really good but it does have recoil which is why we've got roost um how are you are you gonna evolve yet is he like a friendship evolution or something like oh there we go there he is all right oh wow we can actually watch a pokemon evolution that's a first all right well he's gonna evolve i'm recording that's good Alright, so you're going to evolve into Shelgon. Protect, we don't need that. We can always move relearner any of these later. Alright, and then Salamence is like level 50 or something. 55 maybe? I don't know. My rare candies are over here. Also, I bought an Ender Chest too. So, yeah, we may as well just use these. Alright. Um, well, you're flying. Alright, one, two... Oh, scary face, don't care. Boom. Alright. This should be enough to get him to level 100. Yeah. Flamethrower, sure. Oh wow, he's evolving already. Alright, cool. Do -do -do. Do -do. Oh yeah, I need to get my Halloween skin out. It's like, we're like halfway through October. And I need to do my Halloween skin. Ooh, that's, that's cool. Fly. I think you can fly without the HM. Hold on. Let's put this on now. There we go, Salamence Sight. We'll test him out in a second. We may as well start EV training it. But after we do this, I do want to start some Poke Hunts, which we could do while we EV train, because those give good rewards. Oh, Double Edge. That's one of the moves we need. Double Edge. Where's Roost? Do you need, like, a TM for that? That would suck. Also, what was the other move? Roost, Double Edge. I think you need a TM for Earthquake. Um, alright, I just hope, no, I don't think Earthquake and, um, Rooster Egg moves. They shouldn't be, because 
Uh, Salamence was like the second Pokemon I breeded, or Bagon rather, because my first perfect Pokemon in the normal games was the Toxapex, which I bred from literally a zero IV Marini. So that was pretty fun. All right, all right. So now we've got our Salamence level 100. Cool. He's got uh, slash EVs six. Yeah, he's got zero EVs. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put these back. Um, we'll put, no, we'll keep the Master Ball on us. Um, let's go to a move relearner, because some of them might just be level zero moves that we don't have for some reason. Uh, but the thing is, oh wow, there's actually a lot of spawns here for unknown reasons. But of course, no move relearners when we need them. Can we fly on you? Hold on, I also need to check the who gives attack IVs and stuff. Oh, you're so much better than Honchkrow at flying. Holy cow. Um, the thing is, the movie learners that spawn cost money. And I don't want to use those. Like, they're not cool. Um, alright. Uh, let me just Google the EVs and stuff. I'm pretty sure Growlithe gives attack EVs. Or speed. Magikarp gives speed, doesn't it? What? gives attack EVs. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Growlithe gives attack EVs. So we can- I'll stay near these guys so they don't despawn. We should be able to kill- why is my Wi-Fi being slow? Now it's not a good time. Really not. I mean, we could always get a berry real quickly. I forgot what decreases attack- I think it's Kelp Seed that decreases attack. Maybe. Maybe? Oh, it's raining now, so we don't get the custom sky. I've got rain off, though. Attack Eevees in Pokemon. Thank you for being ridiculously slow, Wi-Fi. Alright, I'm really tempted. Okay, I doubt Growlithe gives something other than attack or speed, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. <laughs> also, we can sample the Mega Evolution thing. So, yeah, we can see what it looks like, even though we're inside of it. So it won't look as cool, but, um, woohoo, Mega Salamence, and this Growlithe is destroyed. Alright, hold on. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, and we've got the XP. The XP all. Oh, yep, there we Yep, he's getting attack EVs. That's Squirty Dude, hey. I didn't send out Squirty Dude. I sent out Salamence. There we go. Oh, now we've got the battle camera. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, double edge, do, 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 do let's see. Oh, Ekans gives it two. Um... Doduo. Okay, so literally the entire planes gives attack EVs. Wow, that's nice. That's nice, that's gonna make life- Ooh, Poochiana too? We can literally kill, like, everyone here. And a lot of the beach Pokemon too, like Corefish and Krabby. That's nice. Um, and of course everything just, like, despawned. Did Pokemon get cleared or something? Oof. Alright, might as well heal them while no one's here. I don't think I did any other off-camera work. I did do, uh, yeah, I got more vote stuff. Master Ball I already talked about. Yeah, I don't think I did anything else off-camera between episodes. Um, let's keep scrolling through. Um... Uh, do 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 do. Anything else worth mentioning? Do, and those are all legendaries. Oh, that's Gen 7. Wow, Rockruff gives attack. Cool. <clears throat> what about Kangaskhan? Um, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, Nino Arena doesn't. Kangaskhan might. Hold on. Kangaskhan, Kangaskhan, do you? No, you don't. <clears throat> Interesting. Really? Kangaskhan doesn't give attack? That's surprising. Like, honestly. Honestly, that's a bit surprising. Why does no one spawn when I'm, like, waiting for things to spawn, when I, like, need things to spawn? Like, there was a lot of stuff here a minute ago. Oh boy, I'm, like, really congested and stuff. I'm sorry if I sound, like, poop. Like, Wingle. 
No, where's all the crabbies? There's like usually like 10 million crabbies here. Seriously? Maybe it's spawn. Actually, that might be a good idea because, hold on, let's put this back on here. That's from Matt, by the way, the food. Um, slowpoke now. Where's the crabbies? There's like an area with crabbies. Like a lot of them. Corfish, I think you give attack. But Shrek came out, so no. Did that guy... I think he was trying to battle me, but maybe not. I don't know. Wait, how did a Growlithe spawn there? Whalemers give HP, I think. Um, <clears throat> I could swear there's an area here with a bunch of Krabbies that spawn, but maybe not. Wait, don't Growlithe spawn over here? That's a Shanks. No. We don't want Shanks. No, we don't want Buffalant either. Or whatever. Boafolant. Buffalant. Whatever it is. I don't know. Is nothing spawning at spawn either? What the heck? This is not fair. Where is all the pokes? Where are the pokes? There's like no pokes. There's a Shanks. Um. <clears throat> Slowpokes. Alright, Corefish. Corefish. Ooh. Secret area. What's that? I wonder what that is there. It's a secret area. Is it? I feel like I've been there before. Maybe. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what that is. If anyone knows what that is, tell me, please. Also, I like... I think this was literally built above a huge ocean. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because it's got that gravel floor. Well, anyways, Corefish, your dad. Alright, this should give me... Ooh, fresh water. That's actually good. It's fresh water, right? Yeah. And then EV6, yeah. I think you actually gave two attack EVs right there. And Growlithe only gave one. So that could potentially be a good thing. Or not a good thing, a usable piece of information. Holy cow, stop dying. What are you? Oh, Dedene. No, I don't want Dedene. Where are the Krabbies? Oh, this might be Corfish. Okay, yeah, this is Corfish land. But you're on a slab, so you're being annoying. Alright. Alright, so... Well... Actually, I may as well take the fish, because usually when I run out of hunger, I've been slash suiciding. So, yeah, we may as well take food. Alright, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and EV train this guy up. And I will be back in a minute. Actually, a minute, not eight days this time, hopefully. But I guess we'll see. Alright, so, yeah, see you in a sec. Okay guys, so I accidentally found a secret meme, so I was going through the donation chests at spawn, and I found this meme. So right here it's a chest, and if you don't know, this server has the uh, shulker box chest mod, and this chest has a chest inside of it. Alright, let's take it out. Alright, we'll break this boy, we'll put him over here. What's inside here? Another chest! Alright, what's inside here? Another chest! What's inside here? Another chest! What's inside here? Another chest. What's inside here? Another chest. What's inside here? Another chest. We've literally got infinite chests. Maybe. Either someone, like, glitched the server, or they made a bunch of chests to mess with someone for some reason. Oh, wait, no, we need this guy. Um, yeah, so I've been going through this for a while, as you can see. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of chests. I mean, I guess we could use this for if we ever need chests in the future. Sadly, they don't stack, which is a bit annoying. I feel like there's just going to be, like, a bunch of diamonds at some point. Like, I feel like this isn't a meme, and I feel like someone just, like, put, like, a bunch of diamonds, actually, at some point. I feel like at some point I'm going to get to the end of this. Like, at some point I feel like I'll be able to do it. 
Nope, wrong thing. Either way, we do have infinite chests now, which I could really use on craft block, uh, cause I'm gonna be building, like, the storage quadrant soon of my base. But, oh well. Um... And then another one. It goes on forever. I mean, I guess if we need infinite chests, we can get them now. Well, um, wait, what? I feel like I just got maimed. Um, wait, who has the chest? I'm getting mixed up now. You stay there. Alright. Um, I think I might keep going through this for a while. But also, I think I just figured out a way to get them to stack. So we put, no, wait, wrong one. We put... Yeah, wait, right one. Yeah, and then we put this here, then we break it, and then this should stack. Okay, never mind. Alright then. Alright. Yeah, like, um... I don't know. Like, ooh, movie learner. Alright, we'll keep this guy for now. I don't even know what's gonna come from that, but let's go in the movie learner. He should be free. And then we'll get Mega Salamence some moves. Oh, my texture pack is not liking me again. Resource pack, whatever. Um. Okay. So that means most of his moveset has to be TMs. Oh, no, I've got to find an Earthquake and a Roost TM. Woohoo. Is there, like, a place to buy TMs? Hopefully there is. Um. Oh, come on, flash fire. I didn't know these guys had that. That's not fair. Hold on, I may, see, may as well see if I can get anything else of value while you're here. Wait, come back. Can I get a better move than fly real quickly? Crunch, yeah, sure. Just so I can one-hit these Growlifts. Alright. Well, I'm gonna get back to grinding, I guess, then. So, yeah, see you in a second. Alright, um, Caleb AUT here has just given me two master balls. Holy cow, thank you. Hold on, message Caleb AUT, thank you so much. Um, here. I feel like I should give him something, but I don't want to give him the chest of infinite chests. Here, have like, um, have a shell bell. Ha have a shell bell. Massa, do you want infinite chests? I want to see if he wants infinite chests. <laughs> this is a good meme. It, it's a, I want to see his reaction to this. <laughs> it goes on forever. This is a good meme. Well, yeah, um, yeah, two Master Balls for Infinite Chests is probably a good deal. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Eevee training now. I think this is his house that looks better than my Pokemon Center thing, if you can call it that. It's like a fake, it's, I don't even know what it is. Am I recording? Yeah, I probably, ooh, Quash. That's like a berry move. No, it's not. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's not a berry move. You know, maybe it, maybe it's not a berry move. Alright, he's over there. If you want. Thank you. Alright, uh, set home meme. I'm not gonna remember that. Uh, let's name it B-Movie. I probably, alright. I'm, I'm actually surprised I didn't already have a home named B-Movie. Alright, there we go. How much, what percent am I? Eevee's menu, Eevee's six. Oh, fabulous, we're nine percent done. Don't you love when you're nine? Ooh, ooh, that's an ultra loot. I'm totally gonna, totally gonna take that.
I like ooh a protector. Here, have a protector. Do you, it's I don't know. I'm assuming he was talking to me right there. Can I set a home at yours too? Slash home. Let's see. Is he talking to me or is he talking to someone else? Oh yeah, Alan's on. Do do do. Yeah, I don't really care if people set homes at my place. Honestly, anyone cool can set a home here as long as they don't like being me. So yeah, hello. <laughs> I'm on a call with Alan right now, but I'm muted because I'm recording. So he's probably like has he probably has like no clue what's going on. On. I might as well show him a poke loot because like you know the ultra loots are like not oofed right here Oh rep you got a berry Yes, Alan, I am still dead <laughs> Rep 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 rep. Oh Thanks, I guess that kind of replaces like the I guess that kind of replaces the one that I accidentally lost from Wonder Trading. But, uh, hey. Uh, let's just, uh, put that there. Wait, would a lucky egg work with rare candies that you'd, like, level up twice from, like... I don't even know. Okay. Are you just gonna drown yourself? Um... I love this location, me too, that's why I lived here. Also, that's like a great Bidoof name. It's level 78, too. How do you spell Savannah? I don't even know. Is it that? Probably. Let's put, like, uh, a meh face. I am a meh emoji. What is that? Like a tongue sticking... I don't know the proper use for emoticons. Of course, when Marie becomes... Oh yeah, there's like a Marie Pocahont that's like amazing. Matt was like memeing me about that the other day. I'm riding Bidoof. Gets kicked for flying. I need to get on the low in Ninetales. Also, I like how I'm doing literally no work. I'm kind of just recording for memes right now. And Alan's probably like, why are you dead? Hold on, where is it? I'll stop being dead in a sec. Okay, so um, I think he's AFK. I'll just like take a pic with you. Cause yeah, I'll just um, meme. Cause meme. Oh, Alan just got like bronchitis. No, I literally, ah, don't assume I'm dead. Wait, hold on, FN plus F1. There we go. That's a good screenshot right there. Oh, that's a good screenshot. That's going in the scrapbook that doesn't exist. All right, I think I'm going to go back to EV training. Uh, you're probably AFK, so um, yeah, goodbye. All right, I'm going to go back to EV training and talking with Alan. So yeah, see you in a sec. Uh, I don't know. Hold on, slash, okay. What? Yeah, slash WT. Oh boy, oh, he just, oh. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Meme Boy. He gave me a shiny nine tails. I'm talking with uh, Alan on Discord. You can't hear him in the recording, viewers, so yeah. Uh, wait, now look at it. How do you type the heart thing? Yeah, there, that's the thing. Wait, look at it. Now look at what? Wait, what? Oh, it spawned at his house. That's cool. That's cool. It's all shiny and perfect and nice. The only problem is its nature is bad and it's probably got bad IVs. Wait, wrong one. Oh, it's actually got better IVs than my nine tails. That's... That's funny. I'll probably level him up off camera and then just, like, replace him. Because that's, like, a GG gift. Yeah. And that's from Matt. I'll talk about that in the next episode. It's, like, a good meme. It's a good meme. Alright. Um, back to... Back to Salamence killing. Alright, well, about three hours later, we are back. And... We are literally not even close to done with this EV training. We're 28%. So, yeah, I'll probably just do most of this off-camera. But once the EV training is done, we've basically got a perfect Salamence with the Salamence site. Well, we still need the uh, Earthquake and the, uh, the... What was it? Earthquake and Roost TMs, but we've got half of the moves set done. And then we should have a good Pokemon done. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I think next episode we're going to do some Poke Hunts. And then after that, we're going to do some building in episode 10, I believe. It should be. I don't know. But anyways, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you all next time. Do-do-do-do-do-do.